So here's a fact worth remembering. If you want to think clearly, if you want to make wise decisions, you have to use clear and precise language. Here's another fact. If by contrast you want to brainwash and control an entire population, then the first thing you do is ban clear language and substitute it with propaganda, that is nonsensical chunks of words glued together for political effect. In two sentences, that's our entire current political landscape. The left understands it, the right does not. Consider the term people of color. Now that's a phrase that would have seemed mildly offensive 20 years ago, kind of an ugly term. And yet now it's mandatory to every level of our society. The question is, what does it mean exactly? What is a person of color? Well, it's anyone who isn't white, which is to say it's the overwhelming majority of the world's population. So you have to ask yourself, how exactly is this a meaningful category? What does a Polynesian tuna fisherman have in common with a Bolivian coca farmer or a foundry worker in central China, or for that matter, with Kamala Harris? Well, not really anything, except that they're not white. That's a pretty ominous way to define a huge group of people if you think about it. In fact, it's a racist way to define a huge group of people. Everyone who's white is not the same, and only an entitled white liberal could believe otherwise. No normal person could ever think that. So let's stop using the phrase. Let's not participate. Don't use the term people of color. This is the crudest kind of propaganda designed to divide the country by race, so don't say it. What do you replace it with? If you're white, what do you call people who don't look like you? Well, if they're citizens of this country, maybe you call them Americans because that's what they actually are.